Hi friends, in this video we will see another new type in the TypeScript that is nothing but literal type. So we will show, we will write it here. So now we will see about the literal type in the TypeScript. Okay, what is this literal type? So let us see with a simple example. Now here we have an, uh, in the previous video we have seen this one right. So here we have a function that combined function so which will take the input 1 and input 2 which can be either number or string but here we we, uh, we will be able to define the uh, we can send either number or string but the result will be getting either number or string only so we cannot define the uh, return value so if we want the return value as string only then we cannot we cannot get that one if you want the return value only as a number we cannot get for example see here I have num something like 1 and 2. Okay, I am sending the arguments as both 1 and 2 here. So 1 and 2. So if it is number means it is doing input 1 plus input 2. That means mathematical arithmetic operations it is doing. And it is returning the result as number only. So if I want these two uh, result as the string means I cannot do this one. So now if I want to return that one, let us keep another parameter something like um, we can say for example result type okay so what could be the result type you need to get so here i can i can keep that result type okay i can keep the result type as what i can do is for example i can keep that as string okay result type as string i am keeping that one result type as string so here the combine is getting an error now here if i combine these two things i want to get the result type as text okay let us assume that okay i want to get the result type as string as text now what i will try to do i will co copy the same thing and I will what I will try to do is I will console.log the data directly here so that now here I will send two integers here okay uh, two numbers as a string I want this one as a number okay now I think you understood the scenario so I am sending two numbers and I want the result as a text that is nothing but as a string you can type is whatever thing you want so as a string or anything and here you are taking you are you are sending two strings that is numbers as a string you are sending and you want the result uh, written type as the number okay now let's let's see the uh, logic how we can write the logic let's see here now here i am writing the logic in such a way that result type i am taking it as a string okay uh, here whatever the thing it will be doing it will be doing here i will write the logic how it is see if result type okay is equal to is equal to as string okay as number for example if the result type is as number okay then return plus result type okay i am sending it as plus result type or else if it is not something like if it is not means i will send result type dot dot to string Okay, now I am sending the result type dot to string. So now if the result type is a number means I am converting it into plus. So I can use parse float also. Okay, I can use parse float also, but it is a shorthand notation. You can use plus before the variable so that it will be converted into the number. Otherwise, if it if it is a as string means I will be converting it into the to string. Now we will, let's check the output. How we will be getting the output here? I am trying to compile this one. Okay, uh, after compiling. Okay, it's compiled. Now, if we try to check the output, if I try to check the output, okay, here I got it as nan. Why? Because I, I got it as nan is. So, here I am sending it as two strings and also I need it as a, I need, I need it as a number I am saying, uh, saying, right? But here what it is getting? So, here it went to plus plus and it combined this one and number if it is trying to combine this one, we are getting it as nan. So, for example, what we will do is, we will tell it as uh, what we can see uh, 1 comma 2 as text we will see it as text only of this one here we will tell it as uh, or otherwise what we can say i will send uh, sorry i will send 1 comma 2 and as number and here i will tell sorry oh, sorry as 1 comma 2 as text yeah whatever the things we want you can use it now try to do this one 
okay so one comma two as text we will try we will change it as as text so that three will be written as a text so here i will tell it as one comma two okay as number so we will check it as vice versa so as a text and as a number how we will be get get the output we will check the both the scenarios so now you you need to remember this one just for some example case i am using now if i send it as one comma two as a number the both are numbers only so it is converted result type plus in a if it is as number okay it is converted with plus rating as a number thing okay it's correct okay why is this returning as a nan so let's check here okay so here we are checking oh here we are sending the result type we need to send the result here so that could be the reason why we are getting the oh, error if we try to compile it again okay this uh, sometimes happens this type of small small bugs so you should be able to debug this scenario so now here if you see three first three is is in black color so that means it is as it is string second three is in blue color means that it is a number so we got we we have defined the return type also so as a string as a number now here if you check here as a text i am as a, as a text i am using and as a number i am using this one right so now here instead of using string here for example if i change this to number or something like this now the logic will be failed why because so if we use a number and here automatically it will be all the time it will be converted into the string so this could be somewhat uh, problem will be having so all the time you need to write this as a number duplicating these things so one method what we can do is we can use as a we can maintain this as a text and as a number as a enums and we can use like that we will see that scenario also and another thing we will we can use it as a literal type so that means literal type is nothing but instead of using that string we can remove that string and we can say that it will it will have only two types of strings that is nothing but as a number or as a string you can say like this okay or as text you can say okay right why because we are sending as text right so now so this result type we will be getting as a string only these values will be getting as a so here if you see here result type it is written as as number as text okay other than this as number as text it will not accept any string data so that is the reason if you are checking here result type is equal to, is equal to as num means automatically this one you are getting a uh, error that the condition will always return false why because the result type will be always as a number as a text now it will not be as a number so that is the reason it is he it is telling that it will always return false so it will not it will not always enter into the if it will always enter into the else it is saying so in this way you can control you can you can control the errors okay so this is the this is nothing but what we can say is literal type so if you have any variable that has only two types of two data string data you can mention those string data as the literal types like this okay or otherwise another kind of another thing what we can is we are discussed is enums so for example here i will write i will create enum here enum okay result you can mention whatever the things you want okay so result types okay i am mentioning it as result underscore types okay so now what i will try to do is i will have two things first one is as number so that one is, is equal to as number and another one is as what i can say as text so now here i can keep it as as text okay so these are this is these are the two enums i am using so instead of using this as number as text you can change it to result types here so now you can change it to result types and here is instead of using this as number you can use directly result types dot as number okay you can directly change here is using as text as number so you can directly use result types dot as number as text or otherwise as text you can use and here you can change it to result uh, result types dot as number okay so in this way we have created an enum and we have sent to uh, we have created we have used the result types enum so that the result type will expect always the enum value only for example if i change here and if i change here to uh, something like uh, if I do like this, now you will get an error here. See, it will be always written since the type result type DSDS has no overlap. Now, if I use as number like this directly, okay, now you go didn't get the error. Why? Because 
the as number is existing in the enums enum type so that is the reason result type is equal to is equal to as number so it will it will it may return into the if if condition okay so this is how we can use the literal types and also the enums as a combination of both the literal types and the unit uh, and the enums we can use as a combination okay so this is the this is nothing but the literal types if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you